Good morning from Glen Rosa on the Isle of Arran. We got back from our Dolmites trip a couple of weeks ago and since then we've had some pretty stormy weather which has uh, severely disrupted the ferry service from the mainland. Um, between that and other commitments this is really the first chance I've had to get back over here. Last week there was quite a bit of snow on the mountains here. Uh, I could see from the house that there was still some on the tops and uh, we're going to have a wee walk around the three bends today. I think on the far side of Ben Tarson there may well be some snow patches where we might need the crampons and axe. So we've got them with us just in case. So let's go. That's the first uh, bit of ascent for the day. That's um, Coming up from Glen Rosa, we've followed the path up the side of Garve Alt, and uh, now we're coming through this the gate, and we're going to be heading across this rather boggy section over to the first of the three bends, which is Ben O'Cleven, and that's it, the rocky peak on the skyline there. So this is Ben O'Cleven in front of us. This is the, the first of the three. And then moving around to the left, that's Ben Tarson with the gully with the snow running down it. And then we'll be coming along that ridge to Benouche at the end there. And uh, then we come back down this side across the really boggy bit before we cross the Garvalt and then back down into Glen Rosa. Over to the right here is uh, North Goat Fell on the left and the higher of the two is Goat Fell, the highest point on the Isle of Arran. That's, I think it's 894 metres, I'll check that, but I think it's 894. Now the last time we were here, there was no gate on this fence. It actually extends all the way down into Glen Rosa on one side and down into the Glen on the other side. And I'm guessing it was put up by the National Trust to keep the deer out of this part of Glen Rosa. And I see the gates actually appeared now. So I'm just wondering whether they're going to start planting some trees maybe in Glen Rosa. I'll have to inquire and find out what's going on. There's quite a spring on this little rascal. Don't want to let that smack you in the face. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Not the best of locks.
up on the summit of Bennett Cleveland now. This is Glen Rosa down to our right. Some beautiful light down there. I don't know if it's coming out on the video, but it really is quite stunning light down there. There's Meg leading the way as usual. So this is Ben of Cleveland Summit and we're looking across there to Akia and behind that is Castle Arval to the right in the centre the prominent summit of Kiavor and then just to the right of Kiavor you can just see the top of the Witch's Step and then we've got the drop down into Go on Sanex, that's the saddle in between Kiavor and the slope up to North Goat Fell. And then coming right, we've got the ridge leading up onto Goat Fell. And then that drops all the way down. That's the normal route back down through the forest. Uh, you can probably just make out Holy Isle Probably in shadow at the moment. And then coming round, looking down to the south of Arran. Coming round to our right here is Bernouche. And then the superb ridge leading up onto Ben Tarson. And then the drop back down here, which is where we're heading in a minute. And our next stop is Ben Tarson but I think we're going to have a wee break down here before we head up onto there. So we just stopped for our second breakfast here. Meg's tucking into hers. Are you enjoying that? That's your whole day's food there. Steady on, slow down. No, we'll save some for later, eh? There's a good girl. No, it's not for you. Yeah, so on the subject of breakfasts, we were on the seven o'clock boat from Ardrossan this morning. And uh, the last time I came over, the cooked breakfast was served in a little cardboard box with little wooden knives and forks. It was nothing to do with COVID. It was a, a trial to see what people thought of uh, this way of presenting the food. Well, I think the jury verdict was uh, a big no. And today I can, I'm happy to report that breakfast is now served on plates again. And you get the choice of what goes on them. So thank you, Cal Mac, for listening to everybody that commented. That's much appreciated. And I very much enjoyed my breakfast and I'm going to enjoy my second one now.
we're on our way up to the summit of Bentarsa now. Uh, but it's worth just pointing out there's not as much snow on this face as there can be. Um, the rock does have some verglass on it though, so care is needed. But uh, there's no need for the crampons today. But uh, if anyone is coming up this way after snowfall, it is worth bearing in mind that this slope on the sort of north west or north side of, of Bentarsen really can hold the snow and it does get banked out here. Uh, I've seen this slope completely covered all the way down um, and uh, care is needed. So if you are coming in the winter months or even early spring for that matter, uh, it's probably worth just popping a pair of spikes or crampons in your bag and at least poles and ideally an ice axe. We're just coming up to the summit of Bentarsen now, second of our three bends. It has clouded up a wee bit now, but uh, should get a, a reasonable view from the top here. This is Glen also down in the bottom, probably the boggiest Glen on Arran and uh, we had an adventure down there last year, about this time last year actually. Uh, if I remember I'll put a, a link to that trip, it was a, a coast to coast in uh, January I think it was last year and uh, we started over at Dugary on the coast there and we came up Glen Eorsa and up onto Venouche. Uh, so if you want to take a look at that video, I'll put a link to it on the description or up in this top right hand corner. So from here, we head south along this superb bridge. It's got to be one of the best ridges in Scotland in my view, uh, to Venouche which has just got a bit of sun on the top of it at the moment. The snow just hanging on in that corrie and the cloud just rising up towards the summit. And as you come along this ridge, you get to meet probably the oldest resident in Arran. This is the old man of Tarson. So we've come along the ridge from Ben Tarson, this beautiful ridge very little snow on it, just a little bit on the path every now and again, but it's quite soft. And at the back there, we've got the Pern Mill Hills. And across the water there, that's the Kintyre Peninsula. A bit too hazy to pick out the Antrim coast. Northern Ireland, but it is visible on a, on a clearer day. And coming around a bit further, we've got Holy Isle and then Brodick Bay. And then we've got Goat Fell. 
No scout foul. It's Kevo. Now looking back at Ben Tarson and right behind Ben Tarson on the skyline. That's Castle Arvel. So this is our descent route now. It brings us down onto the flat boggy ground down here. And then we cross that and we drop down into Garvalt down there and then back into Glen Rosa. And then we've got the walk back to Brodick. Now before we head down into Garve Alp, you can actually see the route that we've taken in the centre there. That's uh, Ben of Cleveland, the first of the three bends. Then we dropped down to the left, down to that dip, and then we went up to the far side of Ben Tarson, came up from the back of it onto the top, and then along the ridge to Benush. And now we've dropped back down onto the flat and we've just got the drop down the side of Garvalt down into Glen Rosa. Well we're back down in Glen Rosa now and uh, from here we just walk back along the cart track to the main road and then we've got the mile and a half or so into Brodick. So if you've got this far, thanks very much for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye for now.